Okay, we continue with our limud kolon chasot. This is part two for Mahmar Shalom, uh, brought in uh, Sefer Peleyu Etz. Okay, uh, so as we explained, that it's better not to, uh, to uh, it's better one second of uh, being proud in the eyes of Hashem uh, in the world to come than the whole life here without being a proud uh, person in the, names, in, in the eyes of Hashem, which means a person needs to keep shalom at, uh, at uh, whatever cost. As uh, we explain, Shina mipene shalom, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu allows that his name be wiped, wiped out, be erased uh, in order to bring peace and harmony. Right, we, we find it by, uh, May Sota. Right. Ve iqar miswazo keboda ve gedolim ki siyach ve khi siyach lahem asir lev ha even ve noam siyach ve dibrehem osim perot o mi pene habusha o mi pene akabod ve arken amru tarmide khachamim marbim shalom baolam. Now, especially that which tarmide khachamim can do that they can increase shalom is because their words are valuable, right? because they are elderly, mostly they are elderly, uh, or they are zaken uh, uh, so they can achieve, they can achieve peace and harmony in much greater effective way, ways than somebody who is ordinary. The old is hero Not only uh, not only that, our Chachamim has, uh, wo- has uh, warned us, have maqdim shalom, and they have informed us that have uh, maqdim shalom, the kol adam in Mas- in Avot brings, always give shalom to everyone first. Ve'amru alav, ar-rabbanu yukhanam ezakash, shahaya maqdim shalom le kol adam. Ar-rabbanu, ar-rabbanu yukhanam ezakash, he used to always give shalom to every person. Didn't make a difference. You know, young, old, uh, Yehudi, not Yehudi. Even a gentile in the shuk. As it says in Masachet Berachot, Daf Yud Zayin, Amud Alef, Be'amru, Shemi Shenotenim Lo Shalom, Ve'eno Meshiv, Alav Nemar. And also it says, if you give shalom to a person and he doesn't answer you back, it is as if that he is, he is, he is stealing. Right? Neymar, gezelat ha'ani bebatehen. Right? Kari be lashon aniya. This is, unfortunately, one needs to understand from here that a person who doesn't return shalom back he is compared to right, a thief. Why is that like stealing? Uh, very good question. Why is he stealing? Because he is stealing from giving a blessing back to a person. When you greet it with shalom and you answer back in shalom, you're blessing that person. You also should be a bless. You also should be shalom. Hen emet shamru ba zohar agodosh. Really, it says in zohar agodosh, ki lo tov leiten shalom o leashiv shalom le adam rasha. Shegorem ra'al asmo. Really, according to Zohar HaGadosh, it's better that we don't give shalom to a person who is a rasha, that he did all sorts of bad things to himself. Right, uh, to a wicked person. No, no, it depends where you are in the tefillah. But if they're depends. In the where they could say it. There, there is a whole Gemara in Masachet Berachot, right? That uh, when can you, when when can you answer Shalom? Who is as who is greeting you? If uh, if if there is a Goyish king that is uh, that is greeting you in the middle of tefillah, right? Where you're not supposed to answer. I I believe that Gemara says over there. That you should answer why? Because of uh, it could be a threat to your nefesh, right? Uh, but at the same time, says right, uh, 
uh, if an ordinary person is giving you shalom in the middle of tefillah, you shouldn't answer him because what well, you are in the middle of tefillah. Mikol magom yuchal lo man lekol adam bederech sheomrim bekol lashon tobim yamim. So according to Harav Eliezer, Papa Allah wa Shalom, don't use the word of sh- uh, word shalom, greeting, goim. Right? Don't greet them with sh- word shalom. Greet, greet them, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Right? They don't know what shalom means. Ah, you think they don't know? I mean, they know, they, they Google it. They Google it. They know. They know. They Actually, I've had, had a great time. They so ask. I've it's... had a great time. So you don't, you don't answer. So that. according to Zohar Gadosh, if they ask the Rasha, don't answer. Don't, mean, don't, 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 don't say Rasha. Well, they could, they could very well be in the, in the. They're not keeping Sheva Mitzvah Ben Noach. Maybe they're doing all sorts of wrong things. Mm. It's hard to judge. So answer back in a nice way. Peace upon you. They don't mind. Or we'll say good morning, good afternoon, thank good you. evening, thank you. Yeah, you could say thank you. Yeah, obviously we need to be polite. You can't say Shabbat Shalom to the Rasha. Good, good point. You, I don't know. You have these security. Guards. I don't know. Maybe you can't. Maybe, maybe according to Zohar Hakodesh you can't. You have these but there is another thing also. I mean, they say when you say Shabbat Shalom to somebody who is not observant, right? You, you're giving him two lessons. One that it's Shabbat today, and another is that you're supposed to keep Shabbat. Uh, Shamor is like right there. Wow. Uh, they say. Like, so there, that's another benefit of saying Shabbat Shalom, right? And not saying sh- good, sh- good Shabbos, because good Shabbos doesn't have that uh, details in it. Actually, Shabbat Shalom has, has Shamor Rezach? Yes. Go ahead. The Peliot, I think it was in Rachot or somewhere there, he talks about what does, it, what does it mean Shabbat Shalom. He says basically you're saying like during the week we just tell somebody Shalom. We're basically giving them a bracha that they should have Shalom. Yeah. He says on Shabbat it's like... like uh, Shabbat in, is makor bracha. Yeah, he's saying like in general like I don't... I don't have. I'm not really to give you a bracha. Who am I to give Shabbat you bracha? Should Shabbat give should give you shalom. Yeah, that's what so saying. you you teaching somebody that Shabbat is magor bracha, which is true. Shabbat is the source of all the blessings. Ubazen is son shalom la la has la shalom shehu shemo shara gadosh baruch hu. Ovim ot metunafod. This way, you are watching yourself not to say the name of a holy name of Hashem in the places that are right dog experiments in the street. And the guy is telling you shalom. Don't want to say the name of Hashem there, right? Next to the garbage can. Hey yo! Make sure right? the security guards. The security guards. Shalom. So shalom. So that there, there you could say good shabbos. The camera you were, I'm ya ar haashirim. The ar atalmidei chachamim leagdim shalom lekol adam. What a responsibility it is for uh, rich people to give shalom. Tamir Khamim to give shalom to others. Ubifrat la anim, especially to the poor people. Kede shalo yachshudum shemitoch gavatam hem nimzeim be neem venim saim chas ve khalila venim asim chas ve shalom. That 